What's good, MABW team? What's going on today, MABW fam? I'm back today with another video. In today's video, so allegedly, Shy Glizzy was arrested over the weekend for pulling a gun out on his possibly on and off again girlfriend. I'm going to repeat this again, fellas. Shy Glizzy, the rapper, some of y'all may know who he is. Some of may y'all know who he is and may not know who he is. He's a popular rapper out in D.C. And he was arrested for allegedly brandishing or pulling out his pistol on his on and off again girlfriend. I always say when I talk about stuff like this, it's just a teaching lesson, okay? It's just a moment of teaching. These young rappers out here, these young men in general, they have all the money and fame that they need in the world or just enough fame. For the most part, they could possibly have any woman that they want. I don't understand why dudes get so emotional over women. I don't understand why men sometimes are willing to throw away their lives over a physical altercation or a verbal altercation that they have with a woman. Not physical per se, but over words. There's not enough words a woman can say in this world to make me want to pull my gun on her at all. These guys be literally these guys be literally letting women take them out of their position taking them down off their hiatus all the time, all the time. There's no reason to put yourself in a predicament with any woman. If the woman is getting on your nerves or she's saying something out of the way or she's getting out of character, guys need to learn how to walk away. Be done with them. Just leave them alone. I'm going to read the little article from what happened uh, over the weekend with Shy Glizzy, okay? It states, Shy Glizzy was arrested over the weekend for allegedly brandishing a firearm and threatening, threatening to harm his fiance. TMZ reports that the rapper 30, 30 whose actual name is Marquise Amont King, was arrested, uh, was arrested Saturday after a verbal altercation with his on-again, off-again girlfriend. I don't understand how that's his fiance and his on and off again girlfriend. But this is something that I will say. If you're dealing with somebody on and off again, you should know what it is off the rip. You're not hers. And she, uh, she, you, you're, you're basically not hers and, and she doesn't want to be with you. So obviously y'all just connecting with each other to do whatever y'all want to do with each other. So at the end of the day, there's no need for any other, any two of y'all to be mad at each other for anything that's going on within y'all life. If y'all fucking, y'all just fucking. If y'all going out, y'all just going out. The woman can't be mad at what Shy Glizzy is doing if he's doing something other than what he's supposed to be doing with her and vice versa with her. She can't be mad at what he's doing. He can't be mad at what she's doing. So to brandish a firearm, you just went directly in your feelings for no reason. And now it's going to cost you money. Now you got to retain a lawyer. Now you possibly got to sit in jail. Now you got to see what type of felony charges are going to be brought up upon you. These guys don't ever think. They never think at all. And guess what, fellas? If he does end up getting locked up or not dealing with her no more, she's going to be doing the same thing that she was already doing anyway. She's going to be doing the same thing. That's what a lot of guys out here, I don't understand how they don't seem to get that. Guys, whether you're with a female or you're not with that female, if you throw away your life over her, she's still going to be doing the same thing you're doing. Whether you're dead or you're in jail. It's simple, as simple as that. It's simple as that. You're not going to change who they are. 
You're not. If their mind is made up on what they want to do and how they want to act in life, they're just going to act like that. You can't change it at all. I don't understand why guys keep putting themselves in predicaments where they're going to lose money or throw away their freedom over broads, over broads that come a dime a dozen, especially to these young men with a lot of money, with a lot of money. Guys, what do y'all think about this? If you got into a verbal altercation with your significant other, what could she possibly say to make you want to pull your firearm out on her? What could she possibly say to make you get out of character like that? Like, what does she say to the dude? Woman, what do y'all think that y'all could say to a man that can really get him out of character to the point where he wants to uh, brandish his gun and pull it out on you? Y'all let me know in the comments. I think it was silly for him to do that because now he's going to have to come out his pockets and fight for his freedom. So you just throwing away your life, you're throwing away time, and you're throwing away money. That's your bad. Anyways, that's my video for today. If you like the video, of course, comment, like, and subscribe. It ain't costing you a damn thing. And of course, I'm going to holler back at y'all later. Peace.